A daily habit of gratitude has been shown to increase personal happiness and improve physical health. Today, we're going to be creating a gratefulness wall using Jamboard to help our students develop this personal habit. Jamboard is part of the Google Drive family, so I'm opening up Google Drive, go down to New, More, and then select Jamboard. I always name my files first, that way they're easier to find in Google Drive later on when I want to assign them to my students. I'm essentially doing three things to set up this activity, creating a custom background, adding some text, and adding some additional decorations. And I'll do all three things a couple of times so you can get a hang of it. So to add the custom background, um, I click on the background option in Jamboard. I'll do it here again in just a second. And I'm just doing a Google image search right from within Jamboard. And right now, um, I'm just searching for like gradients, you know, blue gradient, yellow gradient, selecting one of those options, and that puts it uh, as the background of the Jam file. Next up, I'm going to add some text to um, my activity, and this is just the discussion, uh, the gratefulness question uh, for the day. And then the third thing, this is just kind of a bonus. I'm adding, um, in this case, Bitmoji, just to spice it up, decorate it a little bit. Um, I enjoy using the Bitmoji extension uh, to do this and it allows me to just drag the bitmoji right from the extension that you'll see pop up um, and then just drag it right onto the jam activity and drop it in um, and then resize it and place it wherever i want it to go so click the extension find the bitmoji you like drag it in and there you have it it's not uncommon for students to click the clear frame button and delete your activity. To fix that, I'm going to click the snowman on the right side and save my frame as an image. Then I'm going to re-upload that image as the background to a new frame. This places it um, in a way that can't be edited and prevents my students from deleting it. I'm going to repeat this process for the blue and the yellow activities. And then I'll go back through and delete the uh, first, second, and third frames um, with the editable versions. Now it's time to assign this activity through Google Classroom. I'm going to go to the Classwork page and create a new assignment. It's really the same as any other assignment you've done. Go ahead and set your assignment details. Click the Google Drive attachment icon and search for your Jam activity. We're going to go ahead and attach it just like you would a Google Doc. And make sure you select the correct option. I'm using the Students Can Edit, which means all of my students will be editing together. If you'd like to make a copy of my gratefulness wall, you'll find a link in the description as well as a link to a list of gratefulness discussion prompts that you can use for your own activity. Click this playlist over here if you'd like to learn how to make more student activities like this. And if you'd like to work with me and learn how to use Google Docs, slides, sheets, and forms to design awesome learning activities, check out Design with Drive, my online course.